Uh, the first thought in our minds was how we are going to say farewell to such a diverse group of graduates. I know we have all figured out a way to get through the bad days, an escape of sorts. These escapes are usually unique to the person, as we are all individuals. My escape, and probably my lifeline, quite honestly, through the past years, has been skateboarding. Besides that, I acknowledge the fact that many of us use music, in one way or another, to get through those days. It's the same kind of relief. More often than not, I have seen my peers and younger students trudging through the hallways with that escape stuffed into their ears. Headphones played a huge part in my junior years in getting me through a busy day, so I understand the feeling of just being able to zone out to deal with our most important priorities. I would ask that the graduating class of 2014 take this advice to heart. Your life is opening up before you, even as I speak. We can look back now at our time within Beaver Bray's walls and appreciate all that we have learned. But with so much ahead of us and our own potentials to fill, I urge all of you to rip out your headphones. Don't spend the best years of your life in your comfort zone looking down at your feet. Life outside of Beaver Bray may be scary, but it's here. With that, I'll step aside for the life of the party, and that's Roots. lives ahead of us, whether you're attending university or college in the fall, traveling to South America, working, or playing hockey or football, we still have one binding trait as a graduating class. We are all heading into the unknown. This can seem like a scary concept, and like Leah mentioned, we will have to break from our comfort zones. But to me, the unknown is alluring, and only means that there is more of life to be experienced. There are more people to meet, emotions to be felt, lessons to learn, and things to be discovered. Within the vast unknown that, that awaits us, find your passion, fellow graduates, and live it as fully as you can. We would like to take some time away from celebrating us, the obvious purpose of tonight, and recognize the influential people that have made us who we are today. The people that have done their best to prepare us for this unknown. First, my most valued connection in this school. And I know for a fact that some of us will feel the same. This individual has always been there for anyone in need and has given me and many others some of the best advice and pep talks I could ever imagine. Quite honestly, I owe this person myself. <clears throat> she has showed me the person who not only I can be, but who we all can be by fulfilling who we should be. This person takes on extra responsibilities and projects that would drain the average person, and she does it all with a positive attitude and unlimited patience. I will have to apologize for the countless times I've interrupted your schoolwork, barging into your office just to have that five minute conversation. Each and every time I stop by for those short or even long talks, I've always left with a smile on my face, an appreciation for how considerate and wonderful Miss Heather Newman is as a person, a teacher, and a role model. I can quite honestly say, if you hadn't had the pleasure and opportunity to become acquainted with her, that you have missed out. Thank you, Ms. Newman, for all that you have done for us and all that I'm sure you will continue to do for anyone lucky enough to come looking for your help. We love you, Ms. Mr. Belrose, you promised us that there was a world awaiting us outside of the academic walls. And if we could just attend class, we would soon transcend into its reality. Hopefully for all of us, this will be a better reality, where windows open more than a few centimeters, where room temperatures make some kind of comfortable sense. This will be a reality where we can see the beauty in the little things and pursue the goodness you have shared with, with us all throughout our four years. Madame Kane, you turn a classroom into a home, and I don't just mean that by the amount of kitchen appliances we seem to acquire. Your compassion helped so many of us at the times when we needed it the most, whether we struggle with school or our personal lives. I am lucky to have had you as a teacher, and Lennon is even luckier to have you as her mom. <laughs> Liam and I also want to express our appreciation to all the parents, siblings, and other family members who offered wise words of support during your times of doubt and frustration. With family by our sides, 
taking pictures of our proudest moments, and gossiping to friends over our achievements, our years at Beaver Bray have become infused with pride, no matter how modest we may perceive ourselves to be. It is because of our families that we are here today on the stage, full of anticipation, ready to journey into the future. When we leave here today, diploma in hand, I know most of us will leave without a second glance. Few of us will walk the halls of Beaver Bray again, and few of us look upon this with sadness. We have accomplished so much here, and now that our four years have come to a close, we can look to the future with the mystique of the unknown driving us forward. As Don Dawson says, I want to look back and say that I did it the best I could while I was stuck in this place. Had as much fun as I could while I was stuck in this place, playing as hard as I could while I was stuck in this place. And we did it. Congratulations, Congratulations. Graduating, graduating class of 2014. Class of 2014.